Vadam India with a very simple vision, or rather a dream to take India's finest teas to the world. Uh, you know, as you may know, India is one of the largest producers of tea in the world. 25 to 30 percent of the world's production happens in India. You know, in fact, if you look at products like spices, India is also one of the largest producer of spices. Uh, and 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 you'll be surprised to know, like for example, a, a spice like turmeric. 80 percent of the world's turmeric comes from India. And what I saw very early on in my journey was that none of these products were, um, you know, uh, were, were were being sold by a brand from India. All of these were sent uh, to, to via bulk exports at single-digit margins to brands who would then add value and sell it to consumers at multiple x margins, right? And you know, we saw white space to create a brand which is differentiated, right? Because if you look at any market, uh, there is always high trust with origin products. Uh, wine from France and chocolates from Switzerland and, and whiskey from Scotland uh, and we said you know if you can take Indian tea under a proud homegrown brand I think that that could be an extremely differentiated position in front of the consumers. Tea, spices, herbs, yoga, Ayurveda, all of these amazing products have two things in common. One, they all come from India. Second, they're all good for you. Right, they are good for your body, mind, and soul. They, these are genuine wellness products which you can incorporate in your everyday life. We're doing some initial tests, and we will be launching Wadham Spices uh, sometime next year, probably in the next two to three quarters. We will start the way we start everything small, test it out, identify your winners, identify your right strategy, and then scale up. So we launch with a few top-selling spices, of course, and basis customer um, uh, feedback. We will, of course, then expand it. While we are a digital first brand, we are now trying to be omni-channel. We started with online channels like our own website, marketplaces like Amazon, Walmart, iHerb. Um, and, and, and now, of course, we are also getting into offline. So I think as of today, Vadam is in a few thousand stores in the US, in Canada, and in UK. These are three markets, uh, you know, where we have our own distribution or rather trying to build our own distribution. While, of course, you know, we also have partners in almost 30 countries who import Vadam teas and distribute it in, in their countries locally. For us as a young brand, going through the online route was something which was relatively easier uh, to break, to sort of differentiate, right? We have a brand um, which has a lot of story behind it. You know, we have, we, we, you know, there is, it's a, it's, you know, we try to make it as a high engagement purchase. So online gives you that opportunity to communicate that story extremely well, right? Versus say an offline where you just have your packaging to tell consumers what you're doing, right? So we said, if we can start with that, right? Um, uh, you know, online is of course a great channel. Second, I think the benefits of online is you can always, unlike offline where you need to go to a certain region with a limited set of SQs, you can't really test too much because you, the cost of testing is very high. The gestation periods are phenomenally higher than when you compare it to an online platform. But now, you know, with the scale we are at, the resources we have, the team we have built, I think of course we believe is the right time to now scale up other channels aggressively as well. Our marketing strategy, I tell this to everybody, is honestly one of the most simple and straightforward strategies. Ki aap ek consumer brand ho, aap ek consumer product bana rahe ho, you sample the product to consumer. If consumers love it, you know, no matter how many ads you run, no matter what you do, the real experience of what you are doing will come with the product. Your product is your biggest uh, marketing tool, and that's what we have done. Of course, while we of course amplify this across media and social media and, and a bunch of other tools. E-commerce company technology is of course central to everything we do, right? E-commerce in itself is a is a technology where you can actually transact with consumers on the internet. Um, so while uh, you know we don't do anything deep tech, but everything around our operations, sales, marketing is driven by some technology platform. For our e-commerce, we use Shopify, right? So Shopify has been our partner since we started. Uh, we host all our global stores on Shopify enterprise platform. Within Shopify, of course, we partner over with over 15 to 20 apps for multiple different things around data, 
uh, data analysis, um, customer understanding, cohort management, remarketing, shipping logistics, finance, taxation, so on and so forth. Uh, when it comes to uh, marketplaces, right, so we use a bunch of apps uh, to collate information or data points from different marketplaces we sell on like Amazon, Walmart, so on and so forth. And, and uh, lastly for operations, I think one of the big shifts we are doing is we are onboarding the SAP platform, uh, the full suite of SAP uh, in the company. We have been you know, onboarding that for the last few months and it will go live early next year. So right from flavors, ingredients, packaging formats, uh, uh, the sensorial experiences in our products, you know, we try and innovate across the board, right? And we have done that right from launching turmeric based wellness teas and some very, very unique flavors around that. Even our branding, you know, right from our name to how we present, uh, how we package, I think it's just very, very different from what was there in the market. And I think that DNA, we of course continue to sort of evolve on and, you know, continue to keep as a critical part of our pro uh, process. Or, or rather growth journey. We have been growing in the high uh, double digit uh, number as a CAGR for the last few years and I think we are fairly confident of doing that over the next few years as well. Growing from here is about two, three things. One of course just going deeper uh, in, in the core markets we are in, doing more of what we are doing, right? So our core markets like the US, Europe, of course a little bit of India now. How can we just go and acquire more consumers uh, in these markets uh, is, is number one. Number two is of course going omni-channel. Uh, how can we also tap and cater to other channels like retail? I think uh, you know 95% of grocery retail still happens um, in, in offline stores, right? So we're still only uh, catering to 5% of the market. So I think incredible opportunity to go into omni-channel and you know get into other channels and grow the business. And third is like I said, I think we are now testing some uh, categories which are complementary to our tea business. Badam Darjeeling tea, I am a big fan of Darjeeling teas. Forest Essentials. Consumer brand in some other category maybe. I think digital marketing, the brand building, storytelling. Good night.